Hey guys, it's Pat from Mount Sledder, and we're on the Skidoo Summit X 850 Turbo. Woo! Whoa! Just about mouse trapped myself there. Woo! Skis in the sky. Hey, what's up? Ah. Oh. Hey guys, what's up? It's Pat here from Mountain Sledder. Check it out. We got the Skidoo Summit X with expert package. 850, 165 inch track length. And this is the turbo. So we're out on it. We've had uh, one ride already this year. It's our second ride. We've got some great conditions out here near Golden BC. And I'm uh, just gonna take it for a little rip here. Show you, what get, you guys what this can do. And uh, you get to see some of the fresh snow and some of the great early season conditions that we're having. So here she is. Let's go for a little rip, now that my goggles are all fogged up. Braking 80%, we got 80% to go on our braking. I wanna talk a little bit about braking. And how you're supposed to do it. You're supposed to modulate the throttle. You can, it's good to do little pulls and little accelerations and that kind of stuff, but not meant to do big sustained ones, but it's hard not to in the snow, it's so good. Look at this, beautiful out here. So you can hear the turbo working away there. Oh, that was a big stump. That little whistle there, it's actually not the wastegate. That's the sound of the air stacking up in the air plenum. But it sounds so cool, man. Oh boy. Whew. Now this is where the turbo has been coming in handy for me personally. Little situation where you're buried in deep. Normally on a naturally aspirated sled, might be in a little bit of a pickle, but Man, the turbo's been really helping me get out of some jams. Oh, uh, that wasn't so bad. Holy man, the snow is good. It's deep, you guys. Still though, there are some stumps and things like that in here. So we gotta be a little bit careful still. Look at this little hallway. Now people are going to look at this sled and say like, well, what you're doing right now, you could do on a A50 Gen 4 Summit. <laughs> yeah, you could ride around here for sure like this and you'd have a lot of fun. But even if you don't really need the turbo for going up, man, it just makes it really fun to pop little wheelies off features and It's just really smooth. It's just that extra power. Man, I really dig it. Oh, found some old tracks here. I wanna go back where I was. Oh yeah, man. It's deep. You hit the odd old track in here, but and it's supposed to keep snowing this week, so I am excited. Things are shaping up around here. Woo. And back down to the meadow where everybody's kind of already ripped around. I want to get back into that fresh stuff. Now, as you guys probably already know, the way that the uh, ECU works with the turbo is doesn't actually make more power. It's basically an altitude compensator. So when we're up here at say, uh, I don't know, 2200, 2300 meters, whatever we're at. I can have a look here in fact. 2100 meters. The way that the turbo compensates or the ECU adds boost to compensate for elevation up to 
10,000 feet, which is around 3,000 meters or so, I believe. And uh, so by that point on a naturally aspirated sled with 165 horsepower like this one, uh, you're gonna lose about 40 horsepower. So the turbo just adds that right back in. You've got all 165 horsepower at that elevation. And then anything higher than that, um, you'll have 40 more horsepower than you would on a naturally aspirated sled. So when we're doing mountain riding, we're up at elevation. It's perfect. That's where this thing works so awesome.